So hello and welcome. This is Erica Glesson. You're joining me for The Erica Glesson Show, where you receive eight minutes of daily inspiration for entrepreneurs and lightworkers. And my next guest is a fabulous American screenwriter, film, television producer, actor, author, uh, author, <laughs> The one thing I know the best, I can't even say, activist, speaker, talk show host, and entrepreneur. Hmm. And he happened to go to Oprah's birthday party. I hear it from uh, some people that know. So tell me, Rashad King, tell me a little bit about what inspires you and what kind of gets you into that sort of inspirational state. Well, there's a lot that inspires me. I mean, I could walk down the street and if I see children playing or if I see a butterfly, you know, just kind of floating around or that is so many things that inspires me. And I feel like that is kind of uh, anything to that nature gets me in that happy space. Mm. Um, and, you know, being able to stay in that space is what I long for, to be completely honest. So I'm really interested in um, the work you did with Soma. I think the whole, I, I have to say, I was a kid, I'm a little older than you, baby. I was a kid, we had to sing We Shall Overcome at my Berkeley school because they were putting black kids and white kids together and they were trying to figure it right. out and trying to get it right. And they're, you know, messing around with everything and changing the teachers and, you know, just making the demographics totally different. And tell yeah. me a little bit about that whole project about Selma what was that like for you to work on that project well that was actually a very special project for me because there was a lot that came out of that uh basically it started with the Atlanta premiere um we were working on a tweet up myself and I reached out to Miss Winfrey to try to you know organize something to that to that nature and it just kind of unfolded beautifully because uh, we set up the premiere in Atlanta, and at the time, a couple of other um, supporters of Oprah's network called the On Ambassadors, we connected, and I had this vision of something being, like, for us to be able to carry the legacy forward, mm, you know, and this beautiful. is for anybody that, yeah. you know, related to the the idea that we've gone through this situation before, We've gotten results based on this intention, based on this action, based on this plan. And it's happened before, it's worked before. So now this next generation, like it was really a, a time for us to try to bridge the gap. And that was my angle coming forward. Nice. And, you know, the beautiful part about it, there was a song and it won the Grammy. I think it also won the Oscar. Uh, with Common. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Uh, Common and John Legend. Yeah. And there's a line in that song that really drove us uh, the entire time. Uh, it takes the w wisdom of the elders and uh, it says, no one can win a war individually. It takes the wisdom of the, wisdom of the elders and young people's energy. Oh and my gosh, that, that's beautiful. Yeah, that I was the that. thing that drove us wow. to see that thing to completion. Um, and, and it was just a beautiful time. I mean, we partnered with the um, A.B. King Foundation, and it was just, it was just a remarkable time. It was, it was so, so much fun. You yeah. know, one of the things that you're, we're, we always do a little pre-chatting, and I have to get, confess to everybody that um, <laughs> Rashad's nickname is Giggles, and people call me Bubbly. So we were like, we're Bubbles and Giggles, and I swear to gosh, like, who says that? Who does that? Like, I love it. And I just want to have a chat with you because we're going to get into something that isn't quite so laughable. And okay. let me know a little bit about this, this like, and I've been there too. Like I've been in an abusive situation too. I was in a horrible yeah. situation and, and I had to overcome it. And it was so unpleasant. It was like these horrible, dark moments of my life. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that coming out of that, how to like, yeah. how to keep your faith. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do yeah. how do I, how do you how do you keep your? And sometimes I call it chi. It's like your own spirit, yeah. your own energy, when Absolutely. you've had experiences that were, you know, so dark. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. That's a long Man. question. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. And I love it. I love it because it, it, it obviously it makes me go within to be able to answer that question. Um, and I think that's the beautiful part about it. So. You know, for me, it's always been about the balance.
boundaries. Uh, I heard Maya Angelou say that there's a space on the inside of you that you just have to keep clean, that you have to keep holy, that you have to keep sacred. And I, like when I heard that, it just, it, 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 it sparked something within me mm. because you have to, at some point, if, if there's negative energy around or if there's anything like that, you have to say, no, you have to say, stop right there. You cannot come any closer. And for me, keeping the faith has always been, it's been the foundation, you know, of my life. Growing up, you know, in Atlanta, my mom, my grandmother, they instilled that in me to continue to keep the faith and hold on to the vision that God has given you. And not even just that, but just knowing that God has your back, period. Mm. And that has been the, that's been everything to me. Uh, yeah. So that's, you know, really how I've just been able to do it, just setting those clear boundaries and then just having a knowingness that everything is going to work out. Wow. I love that. You know, I'm so curious. Um, what we can um what we can expect from you in the next couple of years because it looks like you just keep getting more and more into creation and you've written a book uh what was the, let me find the name of it wait 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 i got yeah. this oh. i don't know i'm gonna find it do not a black <laughs> man's blues yes nice so, so that was thank you for mentioning that uh that actually was a book that I wrote in 2013. It's an ebook. What it was, I just, I was feeling weird uh, about my life just as a black man and I was trying to navigate some thoughts and some feelings. And so I just kind of expressed myself through poetry. I expressed myself through some spoken words, through some monologues. Nice. And I just kind of compiled it all and I just wanted nice. to use that as an offering to the world. Um, I'm actually working on part two right now, nice. uh, so that is definitely in the works, and you know I'm looking forward to that for sure. Uh, but I love that you said that you are getting more in the space of creation. That was beautiful, by the way, <laughs> uh, because it's honestly I just rebranded myself uh, partly on Twitter. Um, my one of my new Twitter handles is the Soul Creator. So I think this oh, is beautiful. like so timely. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's so timely. Uh, yeah. Because it's, you know, it's more than just, it's like for us, for me here, like my life is, is, is much bigger than I imagined it to be. The vision that I see for my life, it has grown exponentially. And I realize that every day I wake up, I have a new opportunity to create wow. a new story for myself. Yeah. And, you know, and I feel like that's kind of the zone and the space oh that I'm in. My whole mission, yeah. honestly, is to uplift humanity through creativity. And that comes in all forms. So whatever that looks like, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, it's so beautiful. And I'm just like, there's never any mistakes. And as I look at yeah. the last week, I've been rebranding myself. And I've been like going yeah. inside and looking at what, what are the words that I'd like to use to express myself. And then yeah. the words that have been coming in are a disconnect from who I used to be. Ooh. And so as they come in, I look yeah. at them and they're like beautiful words. Like they're like yes. words I've never even seen the likes of. And I'm like, yeah. oh my gosh, like that's what's showing up. When I ask the question without putting judgment on me and I just say, hey, what's my energy really? What's my energy really? And it's just going into this more of a queen type of space and it's like not acceptable it's like no oh. you know like no like you can't be that right and i've just been like i've been so curious about it and you choosing wow. what you're choosing right now is giving yeah. me more freedom to choose what i'm sh being shown like you doing this right now rashad real time live right in front of god and everybody on my oh show my gosh. you're giving me freedom i'm, I'm not joking and we joke all the time that's just who we are that's who we roll but right. yeah so you changing your own branding is giving me permission more to step up into my own so i want to thank you for that today that is a gift i hope that everyone who's listening is turning up and turning on because this is a gift we're now giving to you that you can rebrand yourself recreate yourself redescribe yourself and really change to be your truest best self and that is amazing and i'm so grateful we could talk today 
Magic happens for a reason. How do we reach you? How do we find out more about you? So I am relaunching my website. I have a landing page right now. You can find me RashadKing.com. Okay, and that's cool. Rashad, R-A-S-H-A-A-D. Just got to clarify. <laughs> RashadKing.com. Uh, also on Twitter, at The Soul Creator. Um, yeah, and Instagram, Rashad For Real. Thanks so much, Eric. I really appreciate it. Thank you, love. Mwah.